All right, today I'm taking you guys broom shopping. Broom shopping here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Now, where would you go to buy a broom here in Canada? Well, I think the three best places to buy a broom would be either Walmart or Superstore or, uh, or the dollar store. Okay, so those would probably be the three best choices. Um, today we're going to Superstore because if you're lucky, I might even buy something more than a broom. Maybe some, uh, some chicken or some, maybe some fruit, some, whoa, my camera is gonna fall off. I've got my camera mounted on my dashboard, but it's not very secure, <laughs> so I hope the camera doesn't fall off. Yeah, so we're gonna buy some, probably some chicken, maybe some fruit, I don't know, what kind of fruit should I buy? Maybe I should buy a watermelon. Wouldn't that be awesome? Pick up a nice watermelon because summer, well, it's not summer yet. It's uh, June 4th or 5th today, I can't remember. So we're still about two, three weeks out from summer. But uh, yeah, it's uh, the weather's getting better here. So it's almost watermelon season. So maybe I should pick up a watermelon to, to celebrate the coming of summer. So yeah, we're gonna, gonna just go inside the store. I'm gonna show you how to buy a broom here in, in Canada. You know, maybe that's what you were wondering, you know. Last night, you couldn't sleep all night. You were just, you were just wondering, how do I buy a broom in Canada? Well, never fear, because I'm here to help you guys. Always here to help you guys solve your problems. So today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you guys how to buy a broom in Canada. Hopefully, I can find a good broom, maybe just a cheap one, you know, maybe like, uh, I don't know, 10 bucks. That's what I'm thinking sort of thinking about like a just like a ten dollar brew maybe fifteen dollars um, because my kitchen floor is really dirty and I need to I need to sweep my kitchen floor so that's why we're going to Superstore today to buy a broom and uh, we'll see what else we'll buy it's gonna be exciting so I'll just uh, just keep driving there and then when we get there whoa my camera fell told you it'd fall. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop the video and then uh, start it when we get there. All right, guys, we are just gonna go get ourselves a cart. Got myself a loony here. Look at my nice loony. And uh, we're gonna go get a cart. Actually, maybe I should go this way. All right. Yeah, it's a nice day today. It's uh, a bit cloudy. But uh, it's pretty warm. It's, uh, I don't know, probably about 15 degrees. Yeah, it's about 15 degrees out here. Just going to show you guys how to get a cart here in Canada, okay? You need a loony at a lot of places. Oh, hey, look. Found someone's key on the ground, but it's broken. Uh, it means I can't steal anybody's stuff. Okay, so you take the loony, okay? You put it in here, and you push it in a bit, and then this uh, comes out there, and then you just... You just pull the cart like that, but don't worry, because at the end, you can just get your loony out, right? You can put the cart in, you can put it in like that, and you take this, and you push it in, and then, voila, look at that, you have your loony back, okay? So don't worry, it's just a, it's just a temporary investment, All right? So, we got our cart here, now we're just gonna go into the Superstore. Uh, okay, we are inside Superstore and we're gonna look for the broom section. Hey guys, look I found some cat food. Look at that, whiskas. Maybe I should buy a cat. Come here and buy all kinds of cat food. Look at that, temptations. Mmm, tasty chicken flavor. Wow, that looks good. I'm sure my cat would love that if I bought that. But I don't have a cat. Maybe I should buy a cat. Let me know down in the comments if uh, I should buy a cat. All right, where are you, broom? Looks like we're in the cookie section, not in the broom section. Oh, hey, look at these. Ginger snaps. Gluten-free ginger snaps. 
Oh, I better pick up a bag of these. Okay. Well, we got our first item. Let's keep looking for the broom. All right, guys. It looks like I found the milk section. Um, hmm. We should probably pick up some milk while we're here. How much is the milk? Five bucks. Five bucks for uh, a milk. Okay, so... Um, Hmm, let's see, that expires June 22nd. June 22nd, they're all June 22nd. So, just gonna pick up, grab two jugs of milk, two jugs of 3%. Look at that, all right. Okay, so we've got some cookies and some milk. Ooh, maybe we should get some eggs. I see some eggs over here. Look at these. Hmm, do those look okay? Yeah, I think those are okay. Let's grab two eggs. Yeah, okay. Two dozen eggs. Ooh, look at this, some kombucha. Wow, maybe I should grab some kombucha. Look at that, multi-green kombucha. I'm gonna grab a few of these guys. It's on sale, two for 368. Okay, so I'm gonna grab two sets of two, get a discount. Ah, okay, where are you, broom? We are looking for that broom. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Um, I think we're getting close. So, all right, I think we found it. Look at these, we got some garbage bags. That means we're we're in the right, we're in the right vicinity. Vicinity means area. Okay, look at that, here we got the brooms. We found them, look at these brooms. Wow, okay, $8.99, hey, that's good, $9.99. See, I was right, about 10 bucks. It's uh, not, not a bad prediction. Hmm, maybe we should buy this one for nine. Hmm, was it better to have an angled broom or just a straight? straight broom like this hmm, maybe I'll go for the uh, can't decide I think I'll go for the straight broom so because it's a bit cheaper it's a dollar cheaper and grab a dustpan with a hand broom all right so we got the normal broom here we got the normal broom and a hand broom along with a dustpan you know sometimes it's nice to have a hand broom for things you know, if you just have a small little mess that you want to clean up. Okay, so we got, uh, yeah, oh, now we're in the toilet paper section. Look at this. Wow, look at all this toilet paper. Just a few weeks ago, you know, <laughs> there was no toilet paper here when everyone went crazy, you know, in quarantine. When the virus hit, everybody went crazy and bought up all the toilet paper. But I don't need any toilet paper because I've already got some, so. All right, now we're in the meat section. Look at that, look at all that nice beef. Hmm, I think I'm gonna grab some chicken. All right, let's grab, um, let's grab some chicken thighs. Let's see, where do they have their thighs? Chicken thighs. Hmm, I'm not seeing any, not seeing any chicken thighs here. I want some skinless. Oh, here's some, look at that. Turkey breast, oh no, that's turkey breast. Um, chicken thighs. Oh, they don't have any skinless chicken thighs. Sorry about that. Hmm. Man, why is chicken so expensive? Look at how expensive it is, guys. Look, 35 bucks. 35 dollars for a pack of chicken. That is insane. Hmm, maybe I should grab some turkey. Grab some of these turkey ones, they're a bit cheaper. Seven, seven dollars. Seven, seven. I'll grab three packs of turkey. Oh no, they expire tomorrow. That's not, how is, they expire June 5th. That's not good. I'm not gonna buy chicken that expires, or turkey that expires tomorrow. Hmm, maybe I should buy some beef. Yeah, well, why don't I just buy some beef? Pick up, uh, I'll be a good Alberta boy. Pick up a big pack of beef. Ah, that would be good. All right. So, hmm, what do we have 
out here. Oh, look at that. Nice pack of beef, 25 bucks. Man, that's so expensive. Why is meat so expensive? Maybe I should become a vegetarian. What do you think about becoming a vegetarian? Um, hmm. You know what, maybe I should just not buy any meat. I'm not gonna buy any meat today because it's too expensive. All right, let's go buy some vegetables. All right, now we're in the produce section, fruit and vegetables. Ooh, look at this, watermelon, $2.98 for a mini watermelon. Hmm, is that a good deal? Is this a good watermelon? I don't know how to test them, but uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, I'll pick up a small watermelon. Okay, we've got our healthy fruit option. Maybe I should pick up some cucumbers. four dollars for cucumbers it's pretty expensive but yeah I'll grab some cucumbers or maybe I'll grab some broccoli all right some broccoli Got some broccoli and um, got some watermelon. What else do I need? Ooh, look at those bell peppers. Bell peppers look good. Mmm. Okay, we got some bell peppers. Uh, maybe we should grab some celery. Yeah, let's grab a let's grab a bunch of celery. Hmm, is that one good? That's not very big. All right, some celery. Do we need some bananas? Hmm, bananas, seventy-seven cents a pound. Or 1.7 uh, per kilogram. Oh, hey, look at this. Bigger watermelons for 4.97. Hmm. What's a better deal? A big one for 4.97 or a small one for 2.90? What was it? 2.99? Oh, there's even bigger watermelons over there. Look at that. See some huge watermelons over here. These ones are 10.98. Okay, so here are all three watermelons. Okay, so 10.98. For the big ones, $2.98 for the small ones, $4.97 for the medium ones. Hmm. Well, I don't know. What if it's what if it's not good? You know, that's the problem with buying a big one. If it's like if it's not a good watermelon, it's ten bucks. Hmm. You know, I think I'm just gonna stick with my small watermelon to see if that's a good one. If it's good, then uh, maybe next time I'll buy a few more small ones. All right, guys, I think we got everything we need. Ooh, look at these nice flowers. Check out these nice flowers, guys. All right, guys, we had a successful shopping trip. Got a broom, got some milk, got some vegetables, some fruit, and uh, yeah, so still a nice day outside. Thank you so much for joining me shopping. I hope you learned how to buy a broom <laughs> here in Canada. And uh, where did I park? Oh, yeah, I parked over there. So I got a unload all my groceries and then 
bring the cart back to one of these stalls and uh, get my loony back. So just gonna go over here, cross this road to my trusty SUV. All right, there we are. My beautiful red SUV with my nice Alberta license plate on the front. Unlock my door. Okay, let's throw all the groceries in here. Put the milk on the floor so that it doesn't spill everywhere if I jam on the brakes. Okay. Whoa, I'm losing a kombucha. Oh, get back in there, you stupid kombucha. 